Tobela, my name is Maidi and welcome to my channel. So I want to talk to you about the divination bones, right? So these bones, they can be given to you, they can be passed to you if you can inherit them from your, your, your family, right? From your, the people who are giving you the gifts. Or they can show, they can take you on to look for them yourself. Or they can, um, you can be given as present by other people, these divination bones. You, you can be collecting from different people. I'm talking about self-initiation, guys. Self-initiation. Now we're talking about self-initiation, right? If your ancestors, if you are in a place like me, I'm in UK currently, and my divination bones are in South Africa, right? Your ancestors, they can find temporary means for you to use something else. So this is me. These are my, these are my divination bones. Scrabble. Do you see that? Scrabble. That is my temporary divination bones. When I'm here in UK, because as well, guys, you get nervous as well having to travel with those things. So they can give you something that is temporary that you can be using, right? Or it could be that maybe you are somewhere else too far away from where you're supposed to get those things. So they will find a means for you to be using that temporarily. Whatever divin divination bones they want to be uh, using with you, you can use that temporarily. And with divination, with divination bones, right? They, there will be different people training you with this. It's not necessarily going to be like the person who gave you that gift, right? Of, of throwing the bones, huh? Ay! It can be someone else training you. Because ancestors, guys, there, they are a team of experts as, uh, experts as well in the ancestral realm who are good in this, they, they, their speciality. I think I've spoken about it in, in another self-initiation um, uh, video. But now I'm talking about definition bones, right? There are a team of ex, uh, as, uh, experts in ancestral realm. People who are just there, they just want to help. Do you understand? You can have your people, the people who gave you the gifts training you, and you can have someone else coming to come and help you with something. Maybe some come and help you with a particular bone, uh, how they do things the other way and stuff like that. You can have a lot of people training you because that's how it is. In the ancestral realm, there's no kind of jealousy. Ah, I want to be best, only me. Do you understand? There'll be a lot of people training you with that. And if they think that you still need to go sell to someone else to show you something else because they can see that ah, you are a hardcore, you really do not understand, no matter how much they're trying with you. They might try and send you to someone, right? Just for that, strictly for, the, for, the, for, for, for training with uh, divination bones. But they will do it themselves. If your people are ancient, they do not want anyone touching you. They will do things themselves and they will want you to, to do things themselves. That's why they are doing self-initiation with you. Because some people are very, very uh, powerful and really, uh, you know, they've reached a state. Um, how can I say? They are those... Uh, uh, um, they've reached a stage where they cannot be listening to someone doing things that they don't understand. Do you understand? They wouldn't want. They wouldn't want to send you to me because, look, your people, they are fussy, right? They are fussy. Your ancestors are fussy, so they want to do things themselves. So allow them, allow them to show you things. Allow them. Give them the chance to do this with you. Give them the chance. You can do it. Okay? You can do it. You are capable. Please don't don't uh, um, don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself and, and because you see other people are doing things in, in a particular way, you think you should be doing it in a particular way. It doesn't work like that. Some of us go to boarding school. Some of us, we do home uh, learning. So you are doing home learning. You are self-employed, right? Other people, they go to work and they get paid monthly. You, your people, they want to start you exactly as they want to. The ancient way, the way that they know how. Do you understand? 
that's what I want to talk about. So divination bones can you can get temporary ones while waiting for the permanent ones. Or depending on where you are, your people can be using other things. Right? They can get you to look, they'll be showing you these things step by step. I'm talking about your people are training you. They will come to you step by step. They'll be showing you everything. If they're showing you something in a, 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 a Bible in, in your dream, that means they want you to use it. If they're showing you something in, 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 your, in your dream, that means they want to see if you can. But it's not necessarily that you have to get that to use it because some of us, like me, I'm a hardcore African. I do not want anything else apart from when it comes to spirituality. Right? But in my I scrabble. <laughs> but anyway, but what I mean is that I do not want anything else apart from what I believe in. I'm like that with my ancestors, right? So sometimes they will show you things that, you know, if you don't think you can use those things, if they're temporary, you tell them that you prefer something else. Look, these people are like me and you. They can understand what you're saying to them. I mean, if you, you, you're talking with respect and with, you, you, know, you know, your limits as well. So don't think you're going to go out there telling your people, me, 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 because they know sometimes we've got too much ego, right? So they can tell it from far. They can see ego from walking from far away, you know? So they'll stop it from reaching their, their realm. So anyway, so remember that they will do that. That is the divination bones. Okay, so yes, they can ask you to go and get them somewhere because they'll be showing, sending you to those, to the sea, to the mountains. You'll be picking up things, you know, collecting things. Sometimes you don't realize you've been collecting things. I've got some, some bones that I've been collecting myself that I'm going to mix with the ones that I'm supposed to go and get at home. <laughs> so, you know, you'll be getting those things and you don't realize that your people are making you collect those stuff. All right. And the teaching, sometimes they can send you to me to come and get, uh, 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 to, 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 to get training from me, right? From those things. Sometimes they will, they will not, they will prefer to do it themselves. And the training can be any time. It can be after some time, because like I said, the giving of gifts is different. So you might find that the person who comes to give you divination bones, gifts, comes maybe after six months you've been working as a healer with other stuff. So I can't say that it will, it will, you will be trained at the beginning or you'll be trained in the middle or you'll be trained somewhere along. So it's different. It depends from your, your ancestors, right? With your ancestors. Okay? I, I hope I answered uh, the question from I think someone asked, asked me about that But anyway, I will try and answer that specifically for that person in Sutu Anyway, that was the divination bones, right? They will teach you themselves sometimes or other people can teach you But if you're self-initiating, they will be teaching you themselves, okay? They will be teaching you themselves, okay? You'll be at home doing yeah! mm. Mm. And then they send you people to you. They will do that. Ancestors are very tricky. They will send people to you to work with, with, with to practice on them. Mark my words. Come back to me and tell me. These people, they will send people to you. I'm telling you that for a fact. And you'll be surprised. Okay? How would say? 